In today's episode, I had a very insightful conversation with Magda Muk, the Executive Director of the International Coach Federation, the ICF. We talked about how she came into the role, um, what's happened to the coaching profession over the last couple of decades, what's happened over the last 10 years, five years. We talked about AI in coaching and a number of other um, very interesting side conversations that we had. So I think you will enjoy this episode. I think the ICF is a beautiful reflection of the evolution of the profession. So much more global. Uh, we are talking about um, specificity of coaching, more uh, uh, corporate world um, adopting coaching. Um, I remember that when I first started with ICF, we defined ourselves more so by what we were not rather than what we were to finally come to the conclusion that we have to have a language to describe coaching rather than say no we're not consultants no we're not counselors no we're not therapists so it's like okay so what are you right um the other and right now when you say i'm, I'm an executive coach there is a knowing nod coming from the person you're talking to rather than what discipline of sports are you coaching it's like oh right. Um, so, so that's wonderful. And the awareness of coaching, as we know, is significantly greater. Um, and, and speaking from a perspective of ICF, coaching definitely started in a one on one uh, conversation. And even when corporations and organizations adopted coaching first, it was often offered as a remedial measure. There was a problem, let's give you a coach, let's see what happens, or reserved for the very, very top level of the organizations. And since we know that strong coaching cultures are offering coaching to everybody within the, the enterprise, and it is more of a badge of honor uh, than a sign of, of a problem. Uh, and, you know, individuals, corporations, public sector and most recently not-for-profit sector is really embracing coaching as not just something nice to have but as a strategy for growing uh, uh, their their respective enterprises or reaching uh, respective uh, missions and visions. What shifted? How did we go from defining coaching in terms of what it is not to having these more broadly accepted understanding of what it is like what what happened throughout the last 20 years or so where coaching became mainstream persistence uh, to some extent persistence but to big extent and and i'm not trying to be cute about it is because we started doing research and collecting data on effectiveness of coaching uh, since 2006 icf is in a very happy and extremely um, uh, beneficial partnership with PricewaterhouseCoopers. And we conduct um, major studies on a state and the shape of a coaching industry, talking to the clients of coaching, and also talking to the general public about the awareness of coaching. Uh, we also engage with the Human Capital Institute specifically in research around coaching in organizations. And uh, I think that, that that was possibly one of the most pivotal studies where we started showing that, um, again, coaching is just not nice to have. It's a business proposition for organizations and more and more started talking and talking proudly about utilizing coaching as, uh, as the strategic um, um, measure for, 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 for their accomplishments. Mm -hmm.